Hello, my name is Greg, and I'm a tutor with Czech Tutors, and today we will be covering a pretty simple topic, which is the Mach number, and that's pronounced Mach. Um, all the Mach number really is, is the ratio of an object's speed to the speed of sound. So, um, um, it's essentially a comparison to the speed of sound, and the equation for that is the object's speed divided by the speed of sound and that equals your Mach number. Um, so just a couple more notes on that. We um, we know that the Mach number is dimensionless, meaning it has no units. So if you since it's since it's speed divided by speed, those units would cancel out. So it's just a straight number and it's it's the ratio is all it is. So if you have um, speed in the units of meters per second you would have meters per second divided by meters per second and if the meters would cancel out and the second would cancel out so you're left with just with no units which is why it's dimensionless um, the Mach number is mainly used as a measure of aircraft speed that's um, where it, what most Mach number applications are for um, or also um, just any high speed objects you know it's rare to see Mach numbers being used for, you know, your everyday vehicles or trains, boats. It's mainly used for high-speed aircraft, and you'll see why it's mainly used for such such objects. So we have, let's say, we have an airplane right here traveling at a speed of 700 meters per second. If at this current area the speed of sound is 343 meters per second. We want to find out what the Mach number is. So all we have to do is take this object speed, which is 700 meters per second, and divide it by the speed of sound, which is 343 meters per second. And that would equal a number of 2.04. And the way you would read that is you would say it this airplane is traveling at Mach 2.04. So again, it's just taking the object speed. This is the 700 meters per second divided by the speed of sound, 343, and you would get the speed of Mach 2.04. And you can see that the reason uh, why Mach numbers are only used for high-speed objects is because you end up with such with such a low number for the Mach number. With such a high-speed object traveling at 700 meters per second, you only get around Mach 2. So you can imagine if you have an object traveling at 30 meters per second, like a car, you would be at Mach 0.1, and it just kind of doesn't really fit with the applications of the Mach number, and it's just a little more difficult, I guess, to even just say Mach, that car's traveling at Mach 0.1, so that's why it's used with high-speed objects where you can get a higher Mach number, like a full integer. So a couple notes on the Mach number and uh, the names of objects traveling at certain speeds. We have, If an object is traveling at a speed less than the speed of sound, that would be Mach, let's say 0.9. It is, we would say it's traveling at a subsonic speed. If an object is traveling at Mach 1, which is equal to the speed of sound, it is flying at transonic speed. So we have subsonic, transonic. If an object is traveling greater than the speed of sound, it would have a Mach number greater than 1, and that would be considered traveling at supersonic speed. And if a object is traveling greater than Mach 5, it would be traveling at a hypersonic speed. So, um, an object traveling at less than Mach 1, that would be your, you know, your, uh, your regular vehicles, trains, boats, things like that, bicycles, people walking, anything less than the speed of sound. Traveling at the speed of sound, you start to approach more, more high-grade aircrafts. Um, some commercial jetliners fly at a little less than Mach 1. Um, traveling at Mach greater than 1, so Mach 2, Mach 3, that is starting to approach your military aircraft, your high-speed jets. And then even faster than that, at Mach 6, Mach, Mach 5, Mach 6, Mach 7, that starts to get really a lot more difficult and it's really rare to even see an aircraft traveling that fast. So that is what the Mach number is. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me 
the link to my profile is in the description below and I'll be sure to try to get back to you as, as fast as I can and to answer your questions as best as I can. Thank you.